family fortunes. And tonight's families are the Malloy family from Preston. And they're playing the Rance family from Hamel Hampstead. Now, please welcome your host, Les Dennis. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to the show where two families battle for the chance of winning up to £5,000 and a choice of top star prize out of this top of the range family saloon. Yes, it's state of the art and comes complete with high performance engine, air conditioning, ABS, central locking and lots more besides. And with this car, it all comes as standard. All this great holiday for up to 12 people. This week's Sun International Holiday is at the Sugar Beach Resort, situated on the beautiful west coast of Mauritius, close to one of the island's most beautiful beaches. It's the perfect place to relax. Stop dancing, Chris, and come and meet Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Hi. OK, top six answers in this first game. We surveyed 100 people in all our games. We asked 100 people to name something that's easy to do for hours at a time. Margaret. Sleep. Sleep. It's the top answer. Well played. What are you going to do? Play. 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 Okay, rejoin your family, no conferring, and of course the Rance boys, get your heads together and learn to dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Katie, so you're having a good birthday so far? Yes, I am, thank you. Oh, yeah? Yes. You get some nice presents? I have, yeah. yes. But what do you want to do for a living then, Katie? Um, something in broadcast. Okay, all right, what do you think then? Um, television, watching television. All right, watching TV! <laughs> you watch TV for hours! <laughs> Unless it's Kilroy and then it just seems like ours. We've got a prize for you, Katie. What have we got, Peter? Well, this will get you into gear, Katie. It's a clothing voucher to the value of £250. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I <laughs> you won't have any trouble spending that. No. All fine. in one shop, you reckon? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. Debbie, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Les. Good. Now, Debbie, you are a complimentary therapist, is That's that right? right? yes. What does that mean? You do it for free? <laughs> Not exactly, no. <laughs> It uh, involves aromatherapy and reflexology treatments and also soft tissue manipulation. Right. And you had this guy come in, didn't you, and he made you laugh, didn't well, he? Well, I'll never forget when I was newly qualified, this gentleman came into the clinic suffering with acute sciatic pain. And this required electrotherapy to his lower back and buttock region. <laughs> well, I was a bit taken back because there was this spectacular tattoo of Popeye. Popeye on his bum? Popeye, bomb. yes, it was huge. Yeah? But not only that, on the right side, olive oil was there to join him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but by the time I'd applied the cups, it yeah. just looked like Popeye had acquired earmuffs. <laughs> I didn't say anything. OK, Debbie, what do you think? Uh, reading. Reading? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Hi, Are you giggling yet? <laughs> yes. Go on, then. Slightly. Slightly. <laughs> It's it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a little high-pitched <laughs> giggle. Do you just giggle at anything? Um, some, most things, yes. Yeah. And can you giggle for ages? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 oh, got you going. What do you think? Uh, writing. Wait. Writing. <laughs> no, so we lose a life on it. How are you doing, Jenny? Fine, thanks, Les. Good. And what do you do for a living? I'm a midwife. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Great. Do you enjoy that? It's a job, but I don't like kids, so... You don't like kids, and you're... <laughs> <laughs> you're a midwife. You became a midwife, and you don't like kids. That's the one. So why did you do it? Just so you could smack them when they came out. <laughs> yeah. It's what? better when you put them back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too early. Get back. <laughs> You've never done that, Jenny. No. <laughs> OK, what do you think? Um, dancing. Dancing. You can dance for hours at a time. Mm. So we've lost two lives. Maybe the Rances will get a chance to steal. Margaret. Fishing. We're looking for fishing. <coughs> Good answer, but not there. So the Rances back in line. Peter, what do you think? Jogging. Jogging. For hours at a time. It's easy. <laughs> You're fit. Pete? Surfing the net. Surfing the net for hours at a time. Dave? Uh, making love. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're like Sting, then. You get into this tantric sex, do you? It's all right for Sting. He doesn't have to get up in the morning. Martin? Puzzles and jigsaws. Puzzles and jigsaws for hours at a time. Yeah? <laughs> See, <laughs> you're having more fun than he is, I tell you. Chris? Driving. Driving. What are you going to do? I'm going to go with puzzles. I'm going to go with puzzles, OK? We're looking for puzzles to steal. 
Margaret and the Malloys, you get the money that's in the bank, the money you work so hard for, which is £88. The missing answer is number six. <laughs> is... You should have gone with Dave, the stud. <laughs> Make love. Answer number five is... <laughs> sunbathe. It's easy to sunbathe for hours. And answer number four on something that's easy to do for hours at a time is... <laughs> knit. Not if you can't knit, it isn't. <laughs> in the first place. OK, let's play on round two. Me, Katie. Okay. okay, wish you happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Top six answers in the second game. We asked 100 people to name something found at the bottom of the garden. Shed. Martin. Shed. The garden shed. Yes, it's the second most popular answer. But there's the top one. Katie. Fence. The fence. The garden fence. Yes, good answer, but you have control, Martin. What do you want to do? Play. 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 Okay, that was a lot of enthusiasm coming from... <laughs> Especially from Dave there. <laughs> should be tired after what you've been doing for hours. <laughs> yeah. All right, what do you think? Um, gnomes. Good thinking, but it isn't there, so we lose a life on it. Pete, you've had a bad shoe year. Well, I've lost about 12. You've lost about 12 shoes? Yes. Yeah. How have you lost them? Well, if I knew, I'll find them. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I've got plenty of left-hand ones. All and the right ones are going. Yeah. Could it be this lot taking them? Possibly. He keeps walking around in circles. I had, to check, <laughs> I had to check three times a day before I come onto the show, make sure it's... He goes down the pub in the evening, has a few, and comes home with one shoe. Yeah. <laughs> now we're finding out. So it's when you go to the pub, you lose the Sometimes, shoe. Sometimes, yeah. All right, Pete, what do you think? Um, pond. A pond? Yeah, well played. You should look at it for your shoes. <laughs> You've got a prize, Pete. What have we got? Hope you've got an appetite, Peter, because you won a fabulous meal for two at a restaurant of your choice. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wife first what you should on. do is go to a Japanese restaurant and you don't have to wear any <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Take your shoes off and then leave them there. OK, Pete, what's your answer? Ah, oh, right. Um... <laughs> you got, right, you forgot, okay. we're playing Family um, Fortunes, Pete. Right. OK, thank you, Liz. <laughs> tools. Tools? Yeah. OK, we're looking for tools. <laughs> No, so we lose two lives and the Malloys might get a chance to steal. Chris, what do you think? A greenhouse, Liz. A greenhouse? No, so a chance for the Malloys to get back in line and give me some answers to choose from. Jenny? Um, rubbish. 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 Jill? Your dead pet. Your you dead pet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, suppose you buried him in the bottle, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> dead pet? Debbie? The swing. The swing? Weeds. Weeds. Margaret, a few answers there. You got one? Fairies at the bottom of the garden. Fairies at the bottom of the garden. Yeah. They like, they like the idea of that. They still believe. <laughs> Look at that. We've got an audience there that believes. Fairies. We'll go with fairies. fairies well, you know what happened in Peter Pan? The audience, they had to clap, didn't they? If they believed in fairies. That's so you've got right. to clap. You, can, you believe enough? <laughs> Let's see. We're, we're looking for fairies. Yes! Top answer. And let's go clapping. OK, the missing answers, number six, is... Weeds, which you said, Katie. Yeah. And answer number three on something found at the bottom of the garden is... Compost or rubbish. Let's play on round three. <laughs> Dave and Debbie. Yeah. That was a lovely dress. I didn't see that from behind there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something associated with being lucky. Dave. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Time's out, mate. Sorry. Debbie. Keeping your fingers crossed. Keeping your fingers crossed. <laughs> no, so stay where you are. You um, went first, so Pete. Horseshoe. Horseshoe? Is the top answer well played? Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Oh, come here. You haven't decided whether you're going to play or pass yet. Yeah? What are you going to do? Play. 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 All right. Rejoin your family. No conferring. And, of course, the Malloys think of some answers. Pete, what do you think? Four-leaf clover, Liz. <laughs> yes, well played. <laughs> We've got a prize. What have we got, Peter? Well, just for the crack of it, Peter, you've won a weekend for two in Dublin. Oh, All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well played, mate. Thank you. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going again? Yeah, I know. Chris? <laughs> we'll try a rabbit's foot. A rabbit's foot. Yes! Answer number four, well played. Martin? Lucky number seven. The number seven is lucky. 
for summer. Yeah. It was lucky for you, because you got a prize as well. Peter, what have we got? Guess what, Martin? You've just won a week's canal holiday on the scenic English waterway. He's going to Dublin, you're going canaling. Dave. Is it if a bird poops on you? <laughs> for want of the expression. <laughs> you're looking for a, a bird that pups on it. <laughs> no, so we lose a life. It wasn't lucky for you, Pete. A wishing well. A wishing well is lucky. <laughs> so there are two answers to find one life left, Pete. Lucky charm, Liz. OK, Pete, let's see if it's lucky for you. A lucky charm. <laughs> no! So, that sounded like it should be there to me. We get back in line for Jenny. Um, black cat. Black cat? Mm -hmm. Jill? Shooting star. Shooting star. Debbie? A charm bracelet. A charm bracelet. We looked for a lucky charm. It wasn't there. Katie? Lucky underwear. Lucky underwear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Margaret? Have I got my lucky underwear on? <laughs> Margaret? You could have a, a mascot, but I'm going to go with um, the black cat. A black cat? <laughs> yes, well played, ten to number six. <laughs> so you've got all the money so far. You've got to get some scoring done, haven't you? You've still got no money. The missing answer, number three, is... <laughs> ..to win the lottery. At the halfway stage of the game, the Rancers have no money, but don't worry, it can all change in double money, and the Malloys have £212. In a couple of minutes, we'll be playing for double money and then big money when one of our families will stand a chance of winning £5,000 and either a car or a holiday. We'll see you then. Let's hear it for Monday nights on Challenge. Do you insist on being called Sir Alan? No, you, you can call me Sir Alan. So, Al. Great comedy game shows. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Worth making some noise about. It's you! Yes! Shooting Stars, Room 101, 8 out of 10 cats, and Distraction US. It's not complicated. Monday nights from 10 on Challenge. Old El Paso for heaters. Make them as adventurous as you like with jalapenos. Make them as sensuous as you like with salsa. Why not give Mexican a go with Old El Paso Fajita dinner kits? Share the fun. And next time, make them smoky, spicy, or crispy with our delicious range of fajita spice mixes. Right now at Sainsbury's, you can save an incredible 10p on every litre of fuel when you spend £60 or more in store. But hurry, offer ends Sunday. Nobody knew where he'd been all those years. Maybe he hated what the game had become. The cars, the clothes, the chicas. But we knew one day, Esteban would return. Because he was that guy. The guy who threw chips. Play the free Doritos Dipped Esperado game and win one of a thousand daily prizes. Be a winner with the Rich for Life scratch card from the National Lottery and you could win 40 grand every year for the rest of your life. Put some play in your day. The KFC Boneless Banquet for One. Three mini fillets, popcorn chicken, fries, a side and a drink. For fine food without the fuss. It's simply wonderful. Do, 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 do. Simply wonderful. I just hit on top of her. Mm. I want you to fire the fat people. What? I'm going to be your murder consultant. Word. Horrible bosses. Wow, you look radiant. That'll be the effects of new Comfort Brights. With its unique Pro White Illumina technology that helps make our whites whiter and Pro Bright Color Lock Formula, which helps stop colors fading. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> new Comfort Brights helps keep your clothes brighter. Because us clothes are worth it. Hi, I'm Tom Daly, and I'm taking a break from diving to try out over 25 free activities with Nestle's Get Set Go Free. With just two packs of ski yogurt, you can enjoy a free game of golf. Collect three packs of shreddies and launch into a free canoeing lesson. 
enjoy just one tube of Smarties and get stuck into a free game of hockey. And with only two jars of Nescafe Original, you can even trot along to a free horse riding lesson. You can have a go free with any of these Nestle favourites. So what are you going to try? Go on. Get set, go free! The story behind Shaw with fine fragrances. While going to the launch of my latest perfume, I noticed that women never stop. I wondered how they can smell great and at the same time be protected against sweat. That day I decided that my perfumes had to be inside a long-lasting antiperspirant rather than in small glass bottles. New Shaw Fragrance Collection. Fine fragrances, long-lasting protection. Shaw, it won't let you down. Continues with an amazing lineup of premieres, blockbusters, and timeless favorites. Give me some detail. Yeah, I'm interested. And now with Sky Anytime Plus, there are hundreds of movies to choose from at a time to suit you. Do you know that I have waited so long for this moment? Hello? To upgrade to Sky Movies and find out more about movies on demand, call 08442 411 748. Play double money. <laughs> Pete, meet Jill. Hi. Hi, Pete. Double money. All the answers revealed were twice the price of air before the break. Top five answers. We asked 100 people to name an Australian animal. Jill. A kangaroo. A kangaroo. <laughs> Top answer. Well played. <laughs> play a pass. Hi, play. play. Okay, guys, you really need to think of some answers because you need to get some money. Jenny. Koala bear. Yes, and a prize for you as well. Peter, what have we got for Jenny? Jenny, you've just won a health spa break for two, located in a stately home at Hawcross in rural oh, Staffordshire. Is that good? Excellent, thank you. Yeah? Yes. So, Margaret. A wombat. A wombat, Margaret thinks. Yep, it says the number five, we're going well. There are only two answers to find in all the lives are intact. Katie. A crocodile. A crocodile? We lose a life on it. Debbie. Wallaby. Yeah. A wallaby. Yes, well played. So, Jill. A shark. We're looking for a shark. <laughs> Two lives have gone. So, Jenny, can you think of an Australian animal? Kiwi. Okay, if kiwi is the missing answer, then you have the money in the bank and you go on to play big money. We're looking for a kiwi. No, I think it's New Zealand, isn't it, Kiwi? So, we come over to Pete. Uh, dingo. Dingo. Pete. Um, grass snake. A grass snake, Dave. Uh, Shane Warne. Cricket. <laughs> 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 All right, Martin. Rolf Harris. Rolf Harris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they all went like... You mean, he Chris. works with animals. <laughs> Rolf works with animals. That's what he means. What? Chris. Kylie. Kylie, what are you going to go with? We're going to go with Dingo. To stay in the game, a dingo. Yes. Yay! Well done. <laughs> well saved. No answers to reveal. Let's go on and play round two. <laughs> Pete and Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Okay, top four answers. We asked 100 people to name something that you put your shopping in. Pete. A bag. A bag. Top answer. Play or pass? Play. 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 Rejoin. No conferring. So we come to... Oh, he's at the end. We come to you, Chris. A trolley. Yep. <laughs> All the shopping before we put it in the bag. Martin? The car. Dave, uh, find this answer and it's all turned round totally because you're playing big money. Fridge les. We're looking for... <laughs> Dave thinks a fridge les. <laughs> we lose a life. Pete? The larder. To play big money? Larder. Got to go carefully. Pete. No. 
man. There goes the life, Pete. <laughs> So that means that the Malloys, the girls, if you can think of that missing answer, then you're playing big money. Jenny? Basket. Basket. Jill? Basket. Basket. In Debbie? In a boot. In a boot. We look for a boot. Freezer. Freezer. We look for fridge. Margaret? In your cupboards. In your cupboards. Which one are you going to go with? We look for larder as well. Go with basket. It all depends on this for big money. Basket. Well done. Francis, when they got that, you said a word that sounded a bit like basket, didn't you? It wasn't quite that. But uh, you've been a great family. It was a very close competition. You're going back to Hemel Hempstead with a dinner for two, a weekend in Dublin, and a canal break and £186. Have you enjoyed the day? We've had a fantastic you've been day. Fantastic. Listen. Haven't they been great? The Rances. <laughs> okay, Margaret, well done. Are going to go for the car or fly Air Mauritius on holiday? We're going to go for the car, Les. OK, who's going to play? I'm going to play and Jenny. Margaret and Jenny, join me at the mic. <laughs> hey, Margaret. OK, first, Jenny, go and put the headset on. We'll call you back when we're ready for you. I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Okay. <laughs> Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Name a form of central heating. Gas. A spring flower. Crocus. An English queen. Elizabeth. Something birds do. Tweet, tweet. A Russian city. Moscow. All right, very quickly answered. Well done. OK, Margaret, let's see how we did. Put your arm around me. First of all, I asked you to name a form of central heating. You said... Gas, our survey said... <laughs> Capanto, well played. A spring flower, you said... Crocus, our survey said... 15, we got 50. An English queen, you said... Elizabeth, our survey said... 37. Two top answers, 87. Something birds do. You said go tweet, tweet. Our survey said... 31. Not a top answer, but a good answer. Finally, a Russian city was the question. You said... Moscow, our survey said... 33. Three top answers, 151. Rejoin your family. We'll clear the board and bring Jenny back. Welcome back, Jenny. Margaret's done really well. She got 151 and three top answers. So 49 points will get you £5,000, and two missing top answers will get you the car as well. 20 seconds to answer the same five questions. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear the sound. I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we had? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. We want you to do it. Name a form of central heating. Oil. A spring flower. Daffodil. An English queen. Elizabeth. Another. Victoria. Something birds do. Fly. A, a Russian city. Moscow. Another. Leningrad. OK, well played. <laughs> well done. All right, we need 49, and we can see that the two missing top answers are number two and number four. They're the ones we want to see flash, OK, to get us the car. Right, first of all, I asked you to name a form of central heating. You said oil. We'd already had the top answer, gas. You said oil, our survey said... 17, well played. We need 32. A spring flower was the next question. You said... Daffodil, we need it to flash. You said daffodil, our survey said... Yes! You've got £5,000 because it was worth 35. It's the top answer, so now we only need answer number four, but we have to go through and see what answer number three was. An English queen was the next question. You said... Victoria, what are you saying? You said, we've done it. You said, Victoria, our survey said... 33. Now, something birds do was the next question. Fly, 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 she's saying. You said, fly. If it is the top answer and it flashes, I'm going to give you the keys to the car. You said, fly. Our survey said... Congratulations. Well done. Here's Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Do you want to go to the car? Start the car up. Fantastic. Well done. That's a total of £18,066. What a great day. What a great birthday for Katie. We'll see you. Bye. At 10 tonight, it's all about being sharp-eyed and even sharper-witted. 
work out what the cartoons mean in our double bill of catchphrase with Roy Walker. And after the break, there's a survey which could have literally dozens of answers. Name a great invention on more family fortunes.